Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to share my thoughts with you guys on the Olympus EPL8 camera. Um, so if you have noticed, I've been vlogging quite a lot. I do weekly vlogs and this is the camera that I use in my vlogs. Before I used to use my Canon S120, which is an awesome camera, but sadly the screen of it broke. So I moved on to this Olympus because I've seen so many YouTubers use this camera and I also thought it looks super stylish so I wanted to give it a go and I've had the camera for a few months now and I want to share my thoughts with you guys on it just to let you guys know whether I think it's worth buying or not if you are a beginning um, blogger, vlogger or just a photographer or maybe you love taking pictures so this is what the camera looks like and it doesn't actually come with this black um, lens protector. You can get this separately. It's just uh, an automatic shutter. To be honest, I'm not very camera savvy, so I'm not gonna be telling you all the technical things of the camera. For that, I think you can watch reviews from professionals who are very much into cameras. Um, I'm just gonna tell you guys from a vlogger's perspective. So first of all, aesthetically, it is a very, very beautiful camera. It's so beautifully done. It's made to look like a retro. Um, camera, I believe it comes in three different colors in black, in cognac brown color, and this kind of cream color. It's like an off white color, and uh, I'm gonna do a close up so you can see the camera better. And all the white part is actually leather, I believe it's faux leather. I think this leather effect gives a very um, expensive, kind of luxurious and retro vibe to the camera. So the camera retails for 600 euros but you can get it cheaper for 450 if you do not get the lens. There are many different types of lenses for this camera, which is probably one of the most attractive features of the camera. So if you get, for example, a Canon or Sony vlogging cameras, they have like an inbuilt lens um, that you cannot change. So with this one, you can either get yourself a fisheye lens, one that blurs out the background, which is super nice in my opinion. This is just a standard 14, 42 millimeter lens. So you press this button and you take off the lens like so. And then you just put it back on. When you click that on and off button, this is what it looks like. So why this automatic um, lens protector is handy is because you don't have to take the lid on and off um, and like put it in your pocket while you're filming and then put it back on. This way you won't lose this cap, which happens to a lot of people, I assume. Now, why this camera is good for vlogging is because it has a flip out screen. So with Canon G7X, you have this screen up here. With this one, the screen is at the bottom of the camera. And it's actually, at first, um, I thought it's a bit flimsy and kind of hard to use, but no, you shouldn't be scared. I, I thought I'm gonna break the camera trying to pull the lid down, but it's actually super easy. So you just do this and then down. It's actually not that difficult. So you press the on button and you start recording yourself. My setting is set on uh, autofocus. If you see that the focus is not on your face, you can simply tap the screen. So it's gonna focus on your face or click this button here. Also one super cool feature with this camera is that um, if you wanna take a picture, you just tap the screen and it takes your photo. Um, you don't need to click this button. So I think it's just a very handy tool if you want to take your picture very quickly and you don't want to see your hand like that, you just like tap the screen and it takes your picture. And here's um, a recording button as well. So you just click it and start recording. Here I am doing a camera review. Another quite handy thing with a camera, if you're doing flat lays and you're taking a picture, you can simply flip the screen like that and you don't need to look like this and cast a shadow over your photo. You just flip the screen and um, you see everything right here, like what you're taking a picture of. So yeah, you don't need to like do yoga <laughs> while taking pictures, which is pretty good in my opinion. You can also have the screen this way. So I don't know if this it's very useful, but maybe. When it comes to this camera, I think it's absolutely fantastic for pictures. 
um, like for Instagram pictures, for blogging picture, any sort of like travel pictures, it creates really, really high quality photos. I'm gonna insert some of them um, in this video right here. I did a collaboration with Coca-Cola and uh, my mom was, my mom is no photographer, but even she took like such beautiful pictures with this camera in my opinion and she wasn't doing anything crazy this camera also has wi-fi built in so uh you can download olympus pen app and then you can transfer pictures straight from the camera into your phone and then upload them i haven't played with the settings of the camera too much because you know i don't need much uh, for just taking pictures and uh, shooting videos when i'm vlogging i just hold the camera like so my thumb is on this um, little thumb rest. What I also really like is when you start filming and you see that uh, the view is too dark, you click the, the plus or the minus. So when you click the little plus here, it lightens everything. So when it's too dark, you can see like... So I'm gonna give you an example. This is me filming myself and I see that it's way too dark i've made it much lighter so for example if you are somewhere um kind of shadowy or it's very gray and dark outside you just lighten it up okay now i'm gonna tell you some downsides of the camera first of all it's quite heavy so when i'm walking around i usually just carry it on my shoulder but it's not a camera that you can put in your pocket or your handbag because it's it's really bulky i mean if it didn't have the lens it would be somewhat okay but now it's it's like a proper camera not very handbag friendly or like when you want to sneak a camera and film without being noticed it's not gonna happen with this camera also the screen i don't like the fact that it's uh, at the bottom of the camera instead of being up because this way you cannot place the camera on something and see what you're filming um, which is essential for me. Sometimes I just want to put the camera down and film myself talking and with this camera you just you cannot really do it. I think Olympus should have made the screen go up or at least on the side that would have been so much better but they will be coming with a new model so hopefully uh, they will improve on the placement of the flip out screen. So I think that might be it with the cons for me. Um, what else have I had trouble with? I don't know, oh, sometimes, um, but I think that's just purely the settings. I need to change them. I felt like when I was walking, um, it's it has a stabilizer in it. I've noticed that when I was walking, um, the view was kind of moving in a strange way. It was like way <laughs> Um But yeah, I just need to adjust the settings. In my opinion, it's mostly amazing for photo taking. Maybe not as much vlogging for vlogging. I think I would prefer a smaller, more compact camera that's not as heavy and that has a, you know, a screen that flips up. But for photos, this is fantastic. And I also think it just looks very chic, especially if you are into that retro design. Well, the, the black shutter ruins everything. It's supposed to be silver, but anyway, I still think it's such beautiful, classy retro design. Uh, and you can get various accessories for the camera. It's just a very stylish eye-catching camera. And I've noticed that everyone wants to play around with it when they see me carrying this camera. So I think that's a great YouTube beginner camera as well, especially if you get that lens that blurs out the background. That's just perfect for YouTube videos. Um, and also it's not too expensive, like in comparison with DSLRs, this is so much cheaper and uh, still produces super good quality. So that's my opinion on the camera. As I said, if you want a camera mainly for vlogging, maybe do a bit more research and make sure that uh, you're okay with the weight and heaviness and the bulkiness of the camera. To me personally, it's not an ideal vlogging camera. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. That's what I use in all of my vlogs and you guys seem to like the quality of the videos. But as I said, I find the screen really annoying. Check this camera out. I'm gonna leave the link down below with a little surprise for you guys. Lithuanians, you can purchase it on olympus.lt or photohobbies.lt. They have loads of accessories for this camera. So check out the link. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.